Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We're in the field today at the uh, local used car lot, and uh, they called me in to look at a 2012 Kia Forte that has some throttle issues. It's right behind me, right there, and uh, I did a little preliminary um, scan and test drive here in the parking lot, and this one is weird. So, it's video worthy. <laughs> What are the two codes that are being set? P0605, that is not a good code. Internal control module read only memory ROM error in the ECM. So, then this 2110, throttle control actuator system, forced limit RPM. 507, idle control system RPM higher than expected. Pending. So what does the car do? Uh, I started up cold. It's pretty chilly outside right now, uh, below, right around freezing. And it was idling at like 1500 RPM. You know, I thought it was normal, warm up. But the idle never came down. The desired idle was below 1000. This sucker just stayed at 1500 RPM, kept going and going. So I started driving it, and then boom, it went into real limp home mode. The throttle opened up to a default, you know, 15%, and it started doing the fuel cut, wow, 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 you know, to limit the RPMs, uh, basically fixed throttle, and that's it. So that's the issue. One thing that I noticed, there was a whining sound under the hood, like an alternator whine, like a, and there was some burnt electrical smell. So my first thing I want to check is, is there severe voltage ripple on the alternator output. It charges fine to 14.3 volts, but if it, um, oh, and the battery was stone cold dead when I got here. The The shop owner, he thought it was fine because he had it running yesterday. So perhaps a bad alternator is causing all these issues. So, But we have to prove that. Um, maybe disable the alternator completely. Pulled up a wiring diagram right here. It is controlled by the ECM. There's the regulator. There's the charge light. So, there's the big fuse, 125 amp, going to the battery. So how, what's the easiest way to disable this thing? Can we just disconnect the main post here? Well, we might have to do that if we can't get this fuse out. So let's uh, let's get into it. Okay, so we're in the Kia, logged in. These are the OEM codes: 507, 605, 2110. Let me clear them out. So no trouble codes, and these codes only popped up when I started driving. So let's see if they pop up when we're just idling here. Let's take a look at data stream. We want everything to do with throttle control, you know, voltage, battery voltage, after ignition key, and then we can type in here throttle. Angle one, angle two, closed open. And then idle, target idle RPM, status, engine status idle, I don't know what that is. And then I did take a look at the fuel trims, there's no problem with fuel control, it's all in the RPMs. Also, one of the customer complaints is the brake pedal at idle, it's rock hard. And if we also type in manifold vacuum, intake manifold pressure, you're going to see that it's pretty high. So let's graph that. So it wants to be a 620. It should be an idle. Throttle position is closed. 
0.6 degrees. If I rev it up, this thing is shaking. 14.4 volts. I guess I didn't plot the engine speed, actual engine speed. I wish there was a back button for this. I don't want to put this in a report. I just want to graph. <laughs> Here we go. Engine speed 1700 RPM. Let's put it in gear. It's still over a thousand RPM. It wants to be idle. So is this throttle not closing enough? Put it back in park. Very interesting symptoms. I'm wondering, can this throttle close all the way? You know, why is it idling too high? Is it getting too much pressure? Obviously, our intake manifold pressure here is—it's uh, not in psi, so it's kind of hard to read. But it's uh, like 11 or 12 when it should be at five. If you try to drive this thing. The brakes, you have to press super hard to stop. So this engine is a MAP engine, no mass airflow sensor. So I'm gonna mess around with the throttle body. Let's see if the computer's in control. So that is, looks like the default right there. So can the computer close this throttle body? Or is it stuck in this, or can it only open it? You know, there's only one driver working. Let me uh, turn the key on, see if it'll, bite my finger so if I fully close it 0 0.71 if that's what we were seeing on scan data and this thing is still idling too high but the fuel trims are fine remember this is a map engine there must be a vacuum leak somewhere um, look at this tree. Looks like that's just the breather. And then it has this weird valve here. So what if we pinch off like the brake booster line or something. Um, see if we can get this idle down. Alright, I pinched off the brake booster line. Let's see how it idles. Still pretty high. Throttle is fully closed, completely fully closed, and he can't get the idle down. So there must be another vacuum leak somewhere. Let's just keep this thing off of here. Where else could it be leaking? PCE valve, first solenoid. Let's get more um, pinchers. Try to pinch up some more vacuum lines. So I'm trying to pinch off like the uh, PCV hose. That doesn't make a difference. Purge hose. Doesn't make a difference. Do a visual inspection. We might have to get a smoke machine or something and find this vacuum leak. It's on a map engine, a vacuum leak is basically opening a throttle. The fuel terms will remain perfect. Alright, so I didn't bring my smoke machine with me. I wish I would have, but we're going to do the best we can. Blocked off the throttle plate, pinched off the PCV hose, so the intake manifold vacuum, or intake manifold, should be airtight. So I'm putting in some compressed air. 
was a giant leak. I mean, I could blow through this thing. There's like no resistance. Where is it going? Well, it sounds like it's going somewhere into the to the cylinder. Um, but I cranked the engine over. You know, maybe during valve overlap, the intake and exhaust valves are slightly open, and the air is just going right through the exhaust. Um, but I don't think that's the case because the sound doesn't change if we bump the engine. No change at all. So, if we need a smoke machine, we'll be back. Alright, we're back. Got some smoke machines here. Brought two. We're going to compare them. This little AutoLine Pro Ventus. Got this on Amazon for less than 200 bucks on Black Friday. It's a self-contained smoke machine, meaning it has its own pump, it has its own battery. You don't need to hook it up, just plug it in, push the button, and it produces some smoke. It doesn't produce as much smoke as the big leak tamer. So if this doesn't work, we'll try this one. But I want to see if uh, this little guy can do the job because I should have brought it in the in the first place. Look how portable it is. So let's try it out. All right, let's uh... It's already making some smoke. So we're gonna put it right in to this line and let me get a flashlight. You can spot it coming out. It's a little windy, so it might be uh, not as easy as it should be. Well, I see a lot of smoke coming out right here. Hmm. Okay, so the mystery is solved. This intake manifold has a giant crack right behind the throttle body. You can see it right there. So it needs a new intake manifold, and then uh, we'll see how it runs once that is replaced. <laughs> 